Introducing two new ways to better manage the sync between Ivy and QuickBooks Online. First of all, on every document that should be connected to QuickBooks, you will now see a QuickBooks sticker up here next to the invoice number. If it's green, it means that it was indeed successfully synced, and it will give you the date of the last successful sync. However, if there was an interruption or an issue between this specific document syncing, this sticker will be red. When clicking on the red sticker, it will not only show you the diagnostic of why the item or that document did not sync, and give you the option to retry it on your own. If we go to the connected proposal here, we also expect that both the invoice and the proposal are both synced correctly to QuickBooks Online, and we can see that this is also green. So we expect that both the proposal and invoice that we have here for Friedman Kitchen and Bath Remodel, our project on Ivy, sync to a similar customer on QuickBooks Online. If we click over here into QuickBooks, into QuickBooks Online, we see that Friedman Kitchen and Bath Remodel does indeed have information on it. If we click it, we expect to see that proposal, which came over as an estimate, as well as the invoice. Now, let's quickly go back to our customer list on QuickBooks Online. Notice here that I already have a customer in QuickBooks called Jared and Beth Friedman. In fact, I had this customer existing on QuickBooks, QuickBooks before I actually started the Friedman Kitchen and Bath Remodel. And so even though things came over to a new project with the same name as the project name in IV to QuickBooks, I actually want that proposal and that invoice to be associated with this existing customer called Jared and Beth Friedman. You now have the option to do this by yourself on Ivy. If we go back to the main page of the project here on Ivy, we have an option to edit the project. If we click on edit project and you're connected to QuickBooks Online, at the bottom of the page, there's a new section called QuickBooks Project Mapping. Here, you'll see a drop-down menu with the list of all of your existing customers on QuickBooks Online, and you're able to choose to remap this. Just a note, if you are starting a new project, you could already pre-map projects from the get-go. So here, if we choose this drop-down menu and we choose Jared and Beth Friedman, which remember was the existing customer we had on QuickBooks that we actually want things to be associated with, we'll go ahead and click it, and then we scroll to the top of the page and click on Save. By clicking on Save, we're essentially going through the project documents and we're asking them to move from one customer on QuickBooks to the one we actually intend things to show up in. So, if we go back to the customer section here in QuickBooks Online, and we refresh the page or simply click into the Jared and Beth Friedman project, we hope to see that both the estimate and the invoice have now been moved. Notice here that they have, here the estimate or the proposal from Ivy and the associated invoice are now under the customer Jared and Beth Friedman, not the one that Ivy since created. And so now this Friedman Kitchen and Bath remodel is no longer officially connected to Ivy and you can feel free to deactivate this item on your own. That's it.